the first part of finding and explore crime statistics i showed where to find it on the website download it and how to start exploring it in this part i'm going to look more intensely in what type of exploration can you do how to format your um graph so that they let look nice and neat and include it in a report i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it give me some feedback so I'm going to start out by sharing my screen as the usual. One. Okay. Here is where we left off the previous round. I've got by region, by month and year, the number of assaults and vehicles steal, steal from uh, steal from or enter with intent and traffic and related offenses. Now these numbers is 26 per 100,000. So again, I will start from scratch, um, just showing you, for instance, if we just want to look at the salts, um, just a little quick recap and then we we'll carry on. Start with using a pivot table. You must know by now that I'm quite enjoy and love pivot tables. So I can start with that. I create a new worksheet, um, make sure it covers all the data that you've got. I, here's my pivot table. So what the kind of thing I want to do is put on a filter by region and then put on month and year and then uh, say for instance I want to look at the salt. So this is the, and as you can see here, it, at the moment it doesn't make sense because it's the sum of the salts. And I, a better way to do this is by the average ratio of the salt. Um, and it might be big, better if I put the region down here so you can get a better feel for it. And I can also go here and ungroup this so they can see it on the lowest level. And there you can see it's now on the lowest level. Um, let me quickly do a graph of this. Insert. Now, if it's time related, we always want to draw a time line. It's quite important that we don't do a bar chart, but a timeline. Whenever data is time related, I'll repeat it again. The typical graph that you want to draw is a timeline. Now, and this is the graph that you've seen in the previous video as well. So I can now start to explore it, and I can, for starters, decide. Okay, this, I, maybe I just want to show the northern graph for starters. But you can see here that northern, the ratio of assaults in the northern area is much bigger than the inner kind of area. Um, I can arbitrarily switch it off by clicking on this button and say, okay, I want to take northern out so they can explore the rest of the data. I can report on northern. Uh, maybe let's just do that. First of all, let me just format the graph in the way that I like formatted graphs. So what I do is I click on this area here and go format chart area, which is the back ground. And I tend to fill that by sort of a light blue, something of my choice. And I'm going to make it this blue gray. And then I want to pull this part, format the plot area, and I want to pull it with a solid white. And that gives me quite a nice graph. What else do I normally do with this graph? I give it a proper title. Uh, I'm going to do that here. The option for a star title. And I also want access button. Okay, so I can now edit this. Line chart. Timeline, line chart. Uh, assault rates in the area. Um, 
Okay. This is okay. Okay. And this is one over here. Okay, and I make this typically thick on this, make it bigger. You have to think a little bit about how can I make this graph as readable as possible. Okay, I'll make this bigger. I'll make this make it more readable. Okay, so to create a little report on this, I can uh, control P, and this is the way I manage it. Here's the new um, word. And whenever I notice something, that I want to report on, I cut and paste it, control T, and I generally paste it as a picture, which is the last option right here, which allows me to shape it in any way and I know it will stay as well. Okay, so there's my first graph, and I can come and add some words around it just now. Now I might want to, before this, Graph. Now that I think about it, I want to give an overall picture of prime rates for these two things. So I need to document quickly. I'm looking at the salt. Um, and I want to see what is the overall prime rate. So, first of all, I'm going to change this graph a little bit. So then this becomes just a total figure. How do I do that? And here's my, okay. Sometimes we lose the, the list of um, pick in your table. Pick in your table. The next step is by looking at this graph, I can see there's two regions that is for the pictures going back to the region. And then I can now remove some of the regions. So, that, that so in that first instance, I can make comments on more than these in the stand out like that. And now I can switch it off so that I can explore it as well. Uh, switch it off. Now I look and I can see that the blue region and the yellow region is quite distinctly different. The blue region is the lowest one, and that it happens to be Brisbane. And the high one is set, the high one now that's left over itself. So I'm looking for some interesting patterns. I can take the whole graph and comment on that. 
and uh, you can just do that. So you can see how I go about it. Um, so in it, you if you look at my LinkedIn profile, it says storyteller, data scientist storyteller. So you need to develop a story here. So what is the story that I want to tell here? Um, it's the, the northern region. And I can then comment on, as, as I just done, the either the yellow region or the blue region, because they look distinctly different. And I can go now in my graph and tick off all the regions except this one. And tick that one, this one. And let's see, shall we? So, um, Here you can see a quite a distinct one where since it's clear that since April 2015, crime rate has started to increase after this decline into the number of years, which is a comment that I can make. But then Southeast has started increasing much faster than this one. So that's another part of the story that I have to tell. But it was, well, and now I can have a whole story between the two of them. Again, I can have a big discussion around this. The next one is, is these peaks, do they occur in the same month or year or something? Uh, and here, just to show you what can be done, if I click on this, I can actually group this, right click and group. And I want to click now on quarters and years and take months off. And now it gives me a little bit of a cleaner graph. You can always delete some of these graphs when you find it to be a portable. Okay, so Um, and I can say in, in quarter terms, you can see the same trend still. Um, I can also go and do it back to months by clicking on the group one month and year. Well, an interesting one that you can do is you just do months. You can see that overall the peak is in March. And November for South Eastern area and March and either October or December in the Brisbane uh, area. So I can make a of this. You get the picture, I guess. Um, so here I've got already a lot of data and the only thing I've looked at is the salt. I can do a similar exploratory one for vehicles that I've extracted as well. Um, you can see what, what else we can do. Um, We 
Okay, so here I've got a whole story now. I'm just going to look at vehicles. Here's vehicles. If I again compare the two, I can write a similar story about that. Here at Brisbane, it's again much lower than southeastern. I can look at other areas. Let's see what northern is here. Southeastern, northern, northern, and then southeastern. I'll say I want to always compare it to Brisbane. And in fact, with uh, vehicles, you can see that um, Northern or Brisbane is actually, or Northern does not show the same trend. So here again, I can contrast it. One uh, way to make it well quite neat and nice is to format the axis and make it to just call the date of 40 to 70, so I can change the minimum over here. If you look at this uh, graph, it's a lot more clearer of what's happening. And now I can write a whole story, this one increase. This one, um, the highest tech is over the month, June and July, and um, in, in the northern area, it's up to March. Again, I can do this over all the months and years by clicking on groups and click on years as well. And I can immediately update my graph to show that. And now I need to uh, change this and make it another three seconds. So again, that I can see how it trends over time. Okay, and again, I can write a whole lot. Um, June 2011 was a peak time for Northern. Since then, it's actually came down. Again, this is the vehicle fuel or equivalent with intensive fuel. But you can see it doesn't show the same trend as the salt. Obviously, I can make this graph neat and, and cut and paste it together. But I'm sure you get the idea. The interesting thing is here, the only technique that we have applied is timelines or time series. But you can see how rich it is. We haven't even started doing the scriptures or something like that, which is something we can do as well. And I'll show that in a later video you can see. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it. Stop the share and stop recording for the best.